channel is Andrea and today I have a quick video. I got some more friend mail from Deb. So I actually got this. It came to my house the day we left for vacation, like maybe a half an hour before we left. Maybe probably not even that. I think it was like, oh, there's a box on the porch. I'm going to go get it before we leave. And oh, it's friend mail from Deb. So I had something to look forward to while I was on my vacation. And now that we're home, I'm going to open it. I've, because Deb is like an insane packer, like there, this box is covered in tape and I was like, no one wants to see me struggle with the tape for 10 minutes. So I already pre like opened the box and I did take a little peek inside, but I didn't unwrap anything else. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up. And since I did look inside already, just took a little sneak peek when I opened it. That is the reason I'm not wearing a lip color today because I want to try one of the things out that she got me. But first, this is the Maybelline Sky High, Lash Sensational Sky High. I don't, I mean, obviously I haven't bought Maybelline in uh, probably two years now since I've gone cruelty free. So I don't know if this is like, the, it's the Lash Sensational, which I feel like is the one that everybody goes gaga over. I haven't heard of the Sky High one, so I'll be excited to try this out. I mean, no, I wouldn't repurchase it because it's not cruelty free, but I still would like, I still like trying different things. And it looks like the bristles are something that I would like. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like a, it looks like a rubber wand with smaller like a smaller cone shaped thing instead of one of those huge fluffy brushes, which I find a little bit harder to deal with. So I'm excited for this. And then the other thing that I saw was this Tracee, a mat for every mood. And oh, actually, I think I have the Tuscan wine one already, but that's okay. I do actually think I've gotten, I got the Tuscan wine one, which is this last one right here, probably I don't know if it was Ipsy or Birchbox. It was one of those, but I really like it. But there's some other, there's Chili Red. This this one looks, that looks like my color, but let's see. I'll try, oh, <laughs> I should have opened it. So Deb knows me and knows that I don't really do nudes. So she just sent me <laughs> the three that she knows that I would actually want to use. So actually I do appreciate that. So the three that were in here, are this Barcelona Bright Berry, which it looks really pink on there, but it looks more like magenta fuchsia on the cap. So I'm gonna see, you know what? Actually, this, actually, that's really nice. I'm gonna swatch them and then I'm gonna decide which one I want to use with this eye look because it's a, it's a pretty intense eye look, but we all know I don't care about that. The Tuscan wine, I already know what this looks like because I have it. But it looks more red on camera, but when I put it on, it definitely has more of like um a pinkish berry undertone on me. But this this chili red is one I'm excited for. There on the bottom. That looks this is like my my color. So I actually think I'm going to try this Barcelona Bright Berry one because I was actually planning on wearing my Maleficent lipstick with this anyway, and this is very similar. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Sorry. That's blah, blah, blah. This might make me look a little too 80s, but... Mm, that's a pretty color. It looks more Barbie pink on on the box so I'm I'm excited for that thank you Deb okay. oh my gosh she's she's crazy look at all this stuff what is this okay these two things are from makeup geek oh ooh they're just two little empty palettes which is kind of nice because 
I was literally just that Ofra small Ofra palette I have sucks and I want to do like not do pot but I want to move all that stuff out into something else and these will be perfect and much easier to use so ooh, I'm this is kind of a geeky thing to be excited about but I'm actually really excited about these thank you Deb okay now this is the item that made me call her my fairy godmother because she was going to send me something that is in here that I haven't gotten to yet. And then she DM'd me and she's like, do you want this hourglass blush in diffused heat? And this is the one that I've had my eye on. And I'm like, you're my fairy godmother, Deb. Like, these are not cheap. So I'm going to just give it a swatch. I picked up. There it is right there. It's very pretty. Definitely not a summer shade, I don't think, for me. But I'm very, very excited about this. And then, let's see, I think, I think this is the one, the item, oh my gosh, of course, it's like rats to the high heavens. And there's still more in this box. Like, I, I seriously, I knew I was, she was sending me this. I knew she was sending me this. And I thought she was only sending me one other thing. She's, she's a sneaky lady, that Deb. Okay, probably, I'm just going to have to edit this out because I'm going to be doing this for a while. Okay. Finally gotten it open. So this was the first thing she originally asked me if, I would be interested in and it is this Natasha Denona five pan palette the Jubilee palette I'm trying to remember I think she said I think she said there was a boxy pop-up and like there were four different palettes and they were like $12 each or whatever and she bought at least one of each palette and she offered to send me whatever ones I wanted and this is the one that caught my eye because it was the colorful one so I'm, I'm going to swatch them, but I think, if I remember, I think this is supposed to be a really dark navy and not black, but we'll see. So this is the shade Vintage Taupe. That's actually, it's kind of hard to see because of my tan right now, but that's a good transition -y color. This is the shade Intense. Oops feel really nice. I only have the love palette so that would be a really pretty blush actually like blush and bronzer combo situation. This shade is called Limoncello. Ooh. That's very reminiscent of the Nomad shadow I'm working on and pan those eyeshadows except this one looks like it might be. That one looks a little more glittery and this one looks more smooth and metallic. Okay, I'm running out of fingers. But yeah, this is called Enigma. This is basically a black navy. Like you could, yeah, okay. Ooh, that's really pretty. And then the last one is called Mint Frost. I'm gonna try this. Thumbs were not meant for swatching, so this swatch is probably not gonna be very good. But actually, it looks very, these two colors would go very well with my eye look today. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Thank you, Deb. I just used some hand sanitizer to get the eyeshadow off my fingers so I don't have to go up and get a towel. And then there's another like big bag full of stuff because Deb is ridiculous. I think I've said this like 20 times already. Oh wait, no, I did remember she was gonna, she said she was gonna send this one. This is by the brand Eloise, which is not a brand I've ever heard of. It's a Get Lit Metallic Foil Liquid Eyeshadow in pure gold.
This looks like a nail polish. Look at that. That is beautiful. I think, yeah, she said this is already opened. She just swatched it. I don't know. That looks more like, that's a really coppery gold, but that is insane. That looks gorgeous. I am super excited about that. I'm gonna have to do like a get ready with me using all this stuff because she's practically giving me a full face of makeup over here. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. <laughs> Deb always goes like above and beyond. And I know I linked it in my last unboxing video, but I will have her channel down below again as well because you really should go check her out because she is one of the funniest people I've ever met on YouTube and in real life, the internet. She's just got that like self-deprecating sense of humor that just speaks straight to my soul because I am the same way. Says it's a little baggy that says glow your own way. And there's <gasps> there's lots of eyeshadow inside. <gasps> Look at all these makeup geek eyeshadows. Ooh. I I'm not gonna swatch all these because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven shadows here. I'm not gonna swatch all these, but this is grandstand. Well now I know why she gave me those little <laughs> this is Daydream. Ooh, that one's pretty. This is Sorcery. It's hard to tell. This is more of like, looks like a slate gray metallic. This is called Autumn Breeze. This is Burlesque. This is Latte. This is Pocket Change. Gosh, Deb. You're making my pan percentage go down. <laughs> this is bottom line. This one is, it looks like it says summer lovin'. And that's a really pretty shade. This one is stardust. What is this? It just says pressed eyeshadow pan, but this looks like maybe a duochrome shadow. And this is called midnight waltz. These are, yeah, these are the circle pans. So these are like their old their old packaging, but I'm just gonna put these back in this bag. Oh my gosh. Like, I just, there's like no way I can ever repay Deb for giving me all this stuff. Like, how do you even, how do you even, is what I wanna know. Okay, and this is the last item. <laughs> That was in. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot you said she was gonna send this to me too. Wow, I'm just, I have a terrible memory. This is a, what is it? This is a Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. Does it have like a shade name? I think this is, I think these the shades are called Bellini and Costa Ray. So, so she literally, like, pretty much gave me an entire face full of makeup and then some. So I'm definitely going to have to do a get ready with me with some of this stuff in the near future. A little ASMR for everybody. Ah, this is the blush and the bronzer fit. Let's see. I don't know where to put things. That reminds me a lot of the Tarte blush that I panned last year in Feisty. And then this is the bronzer. That is definitely too light for me as a bronzer but it might make, I mean, let's see. 
but it's definitely too light for me as a bronzer at least in the summertime it might work more in the winter but that would also make a good transition shade so um I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> by all of the stuff that was in here because I was not expecting all of this but I am so grateful and thankful to have Deb as a friend not just because she sends me stuff but because she is an incredibly awesome person she is so freaking funny like I'm no pressure Deb but I'm waiting for more video updates because you make me laugh every single time and yeah I'm just I'm really excited to like play with it like this is so gorgeous look at that I just thank you from the bottom of my heart Deb this is this is amazing and I love you and thank you everybody for watching please go check her out on YouTube I'll have her YouTube and her Instagram link down below please go check her out she is so amazing I hope you are having a great day or night wherever you are. You're staying safe and sane and healthy and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.